Hey there, paper geeks and glitter nerds. It's Sinne, and uh, happy Father's Day to you all. This is a very fast and simple card, and a little bonus one for this week. I will, of course, be uh, uploading one tomorrow as well, as I usually do. But um, I figured maybe not everyone was quite prepared, or maybe someone just comes to you in a panic and needs a card. So this one is very fast and very cute, in my opinion. And we're starting out with some uh, long form gotta have game paper which I'm gonna cut to fit the card base and I'm gonna cut a uh, um, what's it called an oval out of it here it is from uh, my favorite things um, and then I'm gonna just color one duck uh, to put in the uh, I believe it's called an aperture um, and I believe this was gonna be it for the card but um, it turned out I got inspired while I was making this card, I was listening to a live from uh, Sam Calcutt, who has the uh, YouTube channel Mixed Up Craft. And if uh, if you like building things out of paper and uh, making fun folds and stuff, she is brilliant at it. And she's a really good teacher also. But she does these lives a few times a week here during quarantine. Um, and uh, I... I got inspired to make a very monochromatic card. It wasn't the plan, but that was what happened. Now I'm gonna stamp out the uh, duck in jellyfish ink from Lawn Fawn. And this is my first time playing with it and I really, really enjoyed the, uh, the softness of the colors. And I'm just gonna mask off around the eye so that I can stamp that out in black. Because I've heard from watching others using this ink that when you've finished coloring you may not actually be able to see where the eye is so you can draw it in by hand so I figure it's just easier to mask it off and then stamp it before I do any coloring so and I was very happy about the result I have to say I am definitely trying this method again now I'm not the greatest colorist so I don't think you need to see me fumble around with my markers all the uh, colors I use will be on screen as always just like all the uh, the other things that I use. Um, of course I have a list of uh, basic uh, tools that I don't write on screen because then you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. So sometime in the near future I hope to make a video on my standard tools so you can uh, get a closer look at what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna leave you now and enjoy the coloring. I'll see you on the other side. And there's my duck. Isn't he nice? I think he is. And here you see I brought in a piece of, um, well, I couldn't really call it pattern paper, but it's textured paper. It's meant for scrapbooking. I bought it in a pack with all these different weird sizes and I'm trying to use them all, but I don't know if I'll ever actually get through it. Um, but this color fit perfectly with the impromptu monochromatic theme I had going. Um, and I cut it out here with the double pierced rectangle from uh, Simple and Basic and I'm gonna cut out the aperture from uh, the grey panel and then you won't see the gingham background because of the uh, the white of the, the duck background the background of the duck and um, well the, the rest is just assembly I didn't put too much dimension on this card since I'm mailing it and uh, and for a masculine card, I don't think you should actually go overboard with those kinds of details. Now here's a one little problem. Oh, I f it wasn't that much of a problem. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to stamp this, but I did try. Um, since this card cardstock is textured, uh, I was afraid that it wouldn't stamp at all. But I managed it, but it did take quite a few tries to get everything legible. I'm just going to use Memento. It's a good go-to ink for me. Especially the size of it, it doesn't take up too much space on my desk. You wouldn't believe it, but I have two and a half meters of desk. 
and I always need more space. But I have to say this turned out pretty neat. Despite the um, texture on the cardstock. And that did give some, uh, some interest to the card also. So here I'm going to assemble my card. Um, I have to erase the line on around the duck. And I don't know if you have this problem, but if I had left it on there, I would have been able to see it. I would have put the duck on so wrong that it would peek out somewhere. So it's better to just erase it. And I figured uh, the cardstock is a bit too high, so I just took off a tiny bit. Tiniest of tiny bits. And now he fits perfectly. And this is... I do believe the only dimension I'll have is to give the, the frame a bit of uh, depth. Actually, do double up the foam. I'm sorry, I misinformed you. This is surprising to me. But then again, I cut the video and it's been a few days and now I'm doing the voiceover, so I guess I just forgot. And it's more than a week since I made the card, the actual card, since the postal service in my country, if I have to send it at an affordable rate, it takes up to five weekdays for the mail to get there but we also had some uh, holidays in between so it's been a few days since I made this card and I edited it straight after I had done it so that I was sure I was ready for the voiceover on time I'm not always crazy about doing voiceovers but there are just some things that can be hard to see on video a lot of things are just easy to figure out but it's sometimes nice when someone takes the time to do a voiceover, I think. But I, I remember man, when a YouTuber Marine from France, she didn't do voiceovers. Um, and she did a splendid job of explaining without ever saying anything. Nowadays she does make voiceovers. But actually, I couldn't care if she did it or not. Because she is very explanatory in her motions. So here is the only real decoration on this card. I use a few droplets. And it was just to give a little bit of interest to the card. I am very interested in hearing from the recipient how they fared through the mail. Uh, if they made huge dents in the card or what they, whatever happened. But here is my duck card. And I hope you'll be having good fun this day. And I'll be... Uh, on again tomorrow with a new card. And until then, I hope you'll be having a good day, evening or night, wherever you are.